Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this washi quilted heart. First of all, you need shirt cardboard. You can find that anywhere. Second of all, you need some origami or washi paper. And the last thing you need is some spongy foam. It's about eighth inch thick and it's very flexible. So the first thing you want to do is cut out your shape and I've already cut out a heart. It's easier if you've never done this before to work on a larger object to practice on. The second thing you do is put it on the foam and just quickly cut around it and it doesn't have to be perfect because this foam will kind of squish in there once you get the other paper on top of it. You can trace it too, but this goes pretty fast. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do is take your paper and you are going to put the foam on top of the cardboard, put the origami or washi paper on top like this, Turn it over after you've figured out where you want the different shapes to be on your heart and you're going to loosely cut a piece. And then once again just leave about a quarter to a half inch around the object that you're doing. Okay. Now you're going to have to make some little slits like this to be able to make the corners or the edges turn to get a smooth edge. Kind of like when you're sewing and you're doing pockets and curves. And the next thing you want to do is get a glue or in this case I suggest the tape rollers or double stick tape. You're going to put an adhesive on this area here and then slowly turn your paper back like this. So I'm just for the fastness of this all for the video just going to kind of turn this over fast. Now when you're doing it for yourself you want to take your time so you don't get these little edges sticking out. And you're going to have to every once in a while go in there and trim it and you might have to put adhesive on top of the other adhesive like this. So you do this all the way around and if your foam slips out and it gets a little big either just tuck it in or trim some of it off. You'll become a pro at this in no time. I've tried it with a glue stick and believe me you don't want to do that your hands and your fingers are just full of glue. So when you turn it over you have this puffy cool little heart and if you have any edges that maybe look a little stiff or pointed just keep turning them under like that. And voila you have a pretty little heart and you can throw it right on top of any kind of card or make a design with a bunch of them, or try a shape other than a heart. Okay, happy Valentine's Day.